Hey, and welcome to our new video. Today, we're gonna give you an overview of the automations in SMS Bump, and we'll show you how to create a new one from scratch. It's super easy, so let's start. From the dashboard, go to automations. This is where all of your automations will be located so you can manage them easily. You can turn them on and off using this switch here, and you have a number of controls here to the right. You can clone or delete an automation using this button here. Next, you can track the analytics for each automation individually so you know if it's performing well or if it needs some adjustments. These are all the key metrics you need to be reviewing so you know you're making the most of your text messages. In case you need to make fixes, use the edit button over here. You should know that after an automation is created and saved, some of its settings won't be available for editing, but you can still make changes to the timing and message content. So let's create a new automation to show you the basics. First, give it an appropriate name based on the type of automation you want so it's easier for you to find it among the rest of them. For instance, we'll name it subscriber confirmation or welcome message. Clear enough, right? Next, this is where you choose the kind of automation you want your store to be sending out to subscribers. SMS Bump comes with many out-of-the-box automations. They help you automate your messages for every part of the customer journey, from the moment they sign up to even after they've made a purchase. We also support many automations which connect with your favorite Shopify apps such as Yotpo, Recharge, and Loyalty Lion and send customers relevant reminders. Now you need to choose who will receive those messages, you or your customers. Next is the timing. When should the messages be sent? In our case, we want to greet your customers right after they've signed up. That's like the customer assistant that greets customers once they've entered the store. You can toggle between minutes, hours, and days from the drop-down. Next, you can make your text even more exciting by adding an image to it. You can upload your own image or use Giphy and Pexels to add some color to your message. In our case, we want to send a GIF which will be cool and welcoming to our customers. Finally, it's time to customize your message content. Remember, this is a text message, so it's a good idea to keep it short, clear, and direct. To spice things up, add a 5% discount as an incentive so your SMS subscribers have an even better reason to complete their checkout. Now you're ready to save your automation and greet your new SMS subscribers. Oh, and uh, one last thing. The stop keyword only works for the US and Canada. In case your subscribers are located anywhere else, SMS Bump will automatically turn the stop keyword into a link that will let customers unsubscribe from your text messages. You know, regulations and stuff. So that's it, you're ready to go. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll show you more about the rest of the awesome automations you can create with SMS Bump. Give us a thumbs up if you like this and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.